I was like on this like really long walk where I was like, I, I was, I was just, I kind of needed to like clear my mind. Like I was just kind of like, I need fresh air. I felt kind of shitty. White people be like. Um, so I was like, oh, surely nothing will calm me down more than just like a nice little long walk, right? And then, um, right as I'm, up, right as I'm like heading home, I'm like about to turn the corner to get to my house. This old guy like hails me across the street and says, hey, hey you. And the way he did it, it seemed like he needed help. So I was like, well, I can't, I can't ignore this guy. Like I can't just walk past him. You know, that'd be kind of rude, right? Um, so I go up to him and he reaches out his hand to shake, shake mine. And I'm like, okay, I shake his hand. He introduces himself. And then I'm realizing like, he's not letting go. <laughs> This like 75 year old man. He said he was 75 is not letting go of my hand. Like he, I'm literally like, I'm kind of like trying to pull it away. And he's like, literally like clutching onto it for dear life. And he, and then at one point, like, he's like introducing himself. He's, he's like telling me all these things. Um, he asked me like how old I was. I was like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm 23. And he was like, he, uh, he, I was wearing yellow pants and an orange beanie. And he, he pointed at me and he was like, you know, you should never stop being yourself. You're very unique and you should never stop that. And then I was like, in my mind, I was like, does he think I'm like gay? But I was like, no, if he would think I'm gay, he would like beat my ass. Like, there's no way that this guy fucks with gay people. Like, that's not, it's not what's happening. Like, I don't, I really didn't really, un, I, I didn't really get what he was going on about. Um, but I was like, you know what? That's sweet. I said, I said, thanks. And he was like, hey, let me tell you a little secret. Still holding my hand, by the way. Um, <laughs> he's like, let me tell you a little secret. I'm drunk right now. And it, it was like 11 a.m. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, you know what happens. He was like, yeah, it does happen. It does happen. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like this kind of like back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like. Come with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy you a bottle of wine. You're a nice guy. You stopped to talk with me. I want to buy you a bottle of wine. And I said, eh, nah, nah, I, don't really, I don't really want your bottle of wine. I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't really. I, I like, made up a lie. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I got my family waiting at home. <laughs> I was like, I got I to gotta go home. And then he was just like, no, no, no. I mean, come on. It's the least I could do. And I was like, no. And then he was like, you want to know a secret? The lady who works in that store doesn't actually like me at all. And I was like, oh, really? I wonder why. Um, and then he, for some reason, said, and this is where, like, it really starts getting a little bit less wholesome and it turns into, like, typical Estonian boomer. He was like, have you noticed how Russians have taken over everything here recently? Like, everything's becoming so Russian in this neighborhood. And I'm like, what? I haven't fucking noticed. I mean, yeah, there are Russians here, but it's like, I don't know. Like, it's, they're just, I don't know. Like, they're just here. And then he was like, no, no, no. They're like everywhere. Like, have you read the news? And I was like, I, I honestly haven't to me. I have, I, I stopped reading the news a long time ago. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> and he was like, Hey, let me tell you something. Okay. And then he lets go of my hand. And I was like, Oh, thank God. I was like, Oh, and I was like, I slowly started like, kind of like inching towards, I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to like leave now. He's like, Hey, let me tell you something. Okay. If you ever get bothered by any of these Russians. If any of them try to make fun of you or they try to beat you up, come to my house. And then he gives me his address and me and my friends, we will beat them up. We will like beat the shit out of them. And I was like, what? And then he looks like, yeah, yeah. Me and my 60 and 50 year old friends, we're going to beat the shit out of them. And I was like, Whoa. <laughs> I was like, okay, interesting. He's like, yeah, yeah. Just come to my house. If that happens, come to my house. And we'll figure it out. And then he starts saying how he has guns in his house. And then I was like, okay, if I'm not like nice to this guy, there's a chance that he might start like scouting the neighborhood for me and he might shoot me. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, that's sick. That's awesome. Um, and then, and then he's like, then he gets this like wholesome face. And I'm like, ah, but you're such a nice guy. Like you are, you really are the best. Like, I really want to thank you for stopping to talk with me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then he does this thing where like, he puts his hand like this. I'm like, oh, he wants a fist bump. He, okay, let's, let's do it. Maybe if I fist bump him, I can leave. So I go in for the fist bump 
and something happens where he like manipulates my hand and all of a sudden we're shaking hands again and I'm stuck again. And he's like looking at my hand. He's like, oh, look at how big your hand is. And he's like, and I'm like, fucking God damn it. He got my ass. Like I, at that point I was kind of like, okay, that was kind of clever. Like he literally just got my ass. And I'm, I'm kind of like, my hand was a little bit loosey goosey. Cause I was trying to leave. I was trying to, this interaction went on for like 15 minutes. We were standing on the side of the street for 50 minutes. Cause I just like, every time I kept trying to say like, I'm going to leave now. He would be like, Oh no, no, no. And my hand was a little bit loosey goosey. And he was like, he was like, what is this? What is this? Like, what, why aren't you holding my hand properly? What is this? Like, it's, it's so loose. Like, can you properly hold my hand? And I was like, I'm, I, I'm sorry. And then I, I kind of started like, I, I kind of like to maybe like make him like go. I started kind of like really like holding his hand hard. I was like, I, was, I didn't want to like hurt him. But I was kind of like, I was trying to kind of like show him like, listen, I don't want to like threaten you, but you're an old man. Like I could probably beat your ass. Like just like stop being like weird. And then um, he kind of liked that. So he started kind of like pinching my hand. And then he started pointing at my shoes and was like, why are your laces untied? They were not untied. They were not, they were fine. But he was like, why do you walk around like that? Like, why do you, why do you have your laces untied? I was like, oh my fucking dear God. And then... <laughs> And then he was like, where do you live? Where do you live? Like, <laughs> I, wh like, do you live around here? And I, and I gave him like a fake address. I gave him, I gave him my neighbor's address. <laughs> so if he ever comes looking for me, my neighbor's going to have a really good time. Um, but uh, he just like kept, and then he kept reading the Russian part over and over again. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to beat up the Russians if you ever, if you ever need it. And they, and he also kept saying like, oh, but if you ever also just want to come over, like I have a dog, she's very nice. Um, and then he was like pointing at my shoes and my hands. And I was like, you're really big. Like you're a giant. And I was like, dude, when is this going to fucking end? Like, how do you keep segueing into new fucking topics? It was fucking impossible. And then like at a certain point, he was like, um, he kept like yapping on about it. And I was just like, sure. Okay. And I said it in like a slang way, which in Estonian is Davai, which is like a Russian word. And oh man, that was a mistake. <laughs> I fucked up. I, I, I fucked up there because he was like, oh no, no, do not fucking say that, okay? This is Estonia. We talk Estonian here. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to ever hear you saying that again. And I was like, oh my fucking God, is he going to kill me? Like there was a point. And then I was doing this thing where like people would walk past us and they would look at me and I'd kind of like side eye them like, <laughs> like trying to like, Maybe like somehow get them to like step in and be like, hey, like I'm this isn't really like a consensual interaction. Like I don't really want to be in here anymore. Um and then and then like towards towards the end of the interaction, he was just kind of telling me about how like, you know, people around here, they kind of see me as the village freak. And then he took his hat off. And I fucking swear to God, <laughs> he looked exactly like me. Like I was I was kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like when he took his hat off, I was like, he literally looks like me, but old. And that's when I was, I, that's when I got like a little bit scared. I was a little bit like, I don't know, dude. Like that's kind of, this is kind of like creepy. And also I forgot to say at the start of the interaction, he didn't just say his name. He said his full name and he told me to Google him. Like he said, you should Google me because things are going to show up. And he, he said like, yeah, yeah. Like I used to be the, like the Estonian football champion. And I was like, what? So I went home and I told my friend about it. So I was like, dude, I don't, I don't know what the fuck just happened. I looked him up and yeah, like a footballer did come up, but this footballer was born in 1994 and it definitely is not him. So like at this point, I don't even like, I don't even know what's fucking happening, dude. Like I'm like, I don't even know like what the hell he was talking about. I don't know if he's like confused himself for like a man that's like 50 years younger than him. Um, but then yeah, at the end of the interaction, I was, he finally like let go. And then I, I started like kind of like actually walking away. Um, and he, I just kind of said like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I got to go now. And then he was like, do you live with your mom or are you making a business? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was like, fucking God damn it. What do you mean? And I was like, I'm making a business. And he's like, oh, good guy. You're a good guy. And I said, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I need to go now. And he's like, I'll see you again. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure we will see each other. And I was like, I'm going to see you again for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> I hope not. 
I really fucking hope not. And now I'm realizing I don't want to go outside anymore because what if I run into him again? I don't like... Because apparently, like, everyone around this village, which is, it's not a village, it's a fucking neighborhood, okay? Everyone in, in this neighborhood, apparently, has, like, ousted this man. He's probably done this to all of them. He's probably threatened to beat up Russians for all of them, you know? They're all, they're all probably sick of his shit. But I'm the one guy that probably t took his bait in, like, fucking five years. For the first time in five years, someone listened to this man. You're his next target? No, like... Here's the thing is, at one point when I was looking him in the eye, I was like, dude, I better like remember this face because I might see him in the news in like two weeks. <laughs> so I was like, damn, dude. And then he was like, we were like next to this like huge, uh, kind of like a gated house, kind of like a big mansion kind of vibe. And he pointed at it. He was like, my friend lives in there. And look at that. He's got the Estonian flag on his yard, on his lawn. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. He's, he's, he's very patriotic. And he said, no, no. It's not about being patriotic. It's about doing what's right. <sighs> so, I don't want to go outside anymore, to be honest with you. Um, I don't want to go outside. Because, <laughs> honestly, all I wanted to do is I wanted to de-stress. I wanted to get... So, you know, there's snow outside. I wanted to walk in the snow. I wanted to enjoy the, the, the nice little day. And, um, yeah. That was, it was crazy. I have his address. Maybe one day, like, I'll pull... Maybe I'll take James to his house. <laughs> when James Mary comes to Estonia, maybe I'll be like, Hey, uh, I gotta show you my friend, and I'm gonna take, it, I'm gonna take him to that house, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave James Mary at that house. He's a chatty drunk. See, sometimes, like, whenever I, because you won't believe how many people like that I've talked to. Like, at this point, it's pretty routine for me. But it is kind of just like a thing of, like, they never just know when to end the interaction. It always has to be, like, a fucking hour-long interaction of just things of, like, just constant, like, barrage. Because, like I said, I think a lot of these people, they're a little bit lonely, and they feel like... Nobody wants to talk to them. And in some cases, I got to say, maybe it's a little bit justified that people don't want to talk to them. Okay, that's the kind of harsh reality that sometimes maybe there's a reason why people don't want to talk to you. Um, but like, I also, I don't fully mind it because, I don't know, it's kind of interesting you talking to people like that, you know? <clears throat> and knowing that your family was waiting for you for so long. I know, right? They were worried sick. They were worried sick, man. Get him on the pod. Why didn't you tell him that you were actually? Dude, the last thing I need is for him to know that I am the international superstar. And he's like right outside my local store too, which means he frequents that store. Because that's the store that he pointed at. And he was like, yeah, the, the fucking woman in there hates me. And I'm like, dude, does that mean that when I walk in there, I'm going to run into him? I know what, and here's the thing is, right? I have a feeling that I might have run into him before. Because when I went into that store one time in the summer... To get like, to get some refreshments, um, there was this like kind of like drunk old guy at the counter, bantering around with the with the cashier, and the cashier seemed kind of sick of his shit. Um, so, if I've run into him twice, that means I'm going to run into him again. You should visit him and his dog to get free wine. See, that's the craziest part. Is like, he was like really dead set on buying me the wine. <laughs> Which, like, I'm not, uh, to be fully honest with you, there was a moment where I was like, mm. but, like, I don't know. I don't, I probably shouldn't, like, let old men buy me wine. You know what I mean? There was, like, a thing where I was like, I just, I don't want it to, like, turn into a thing where he, like, invites me back to his house. You know what I mean? Like, he buys me wine, and then he's like, oh, you don't want to come back to my house? You know, like, I, I really did not want any commitments to this man. I didn't, I didn't want anything uh, uh, tying myself to this man. <clears throat> he could have been your sugar daddy. But the thing is, like, I don't know if he could have. Like, I don't know how much money he had. That's another thing is, like, if he did buy me the wine, that could have been, like, the last money he had. Because I don't, I don't, I don't know how rich he was. I didn't, we didn't really get into, you know, we covered, like, everything except how much money we had in our bank accounts, basically. What fit was he wearing? 
just like this like his shoes were kind of funny like his shoes were kind of like they were like little kid shoes like i don't know it looked like they were made for like a like a six-year-old no no offense i guess but do you have a crush on him i really do not have a crush on that man man i got i have some real fucking weird like interactions in estonia and i feel like i have them more than like anyone else in this fucking country like most people like they'll have one every now and then for me it feels like every like third time i go outside i have something some shit happen to me 